Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil with your updated bay and boating forecast for Tuesday. And we're looking at much drier conditions throughout the day tomorrow on Tuesday as we head towards the overnight, though, very chilly across the area. Overnight lows dropping to the low 40s, upper 30s across our area. There will be plenty of sunshine, though, so we will slowly work our way up into the uh, mid 50s, low to mid 50s, but it'll still stay below average throughout the day, even uh, despite all that sunshine. On um, that trend will continue for the next couple days as well, both at the coast and inland. Wind wise, though, we do have a small craft advisory in effect until at least Tuesday morning uh, with wind gusts up to 15, 20 miles an hour. Winds will start to die down a little bit towards the afternoon, but still maintaining kind of that 15 to even 20 mile an hour mark, especially offshore on and off throughout the day. With those breezy conditions, it's just kind of uh, going to exacerbate the cooler temperatures, making it feel that much chillier. A little bit of a wind chill to start your day tomorrow on Tuesday. Similar story will continue into Wednesday morning as well. So with that, your bay forecast for Tuesday, we do have that small craft advisory in effect until at least 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. That may be extended until Tuesday evening with those gusty conditions kind of continuing. We'll see a westerly flow 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to around 20 knots, especially uh, in the afternoon. Waves two to three feet, so a little bit choppy, not as bad as what we were seeing the past couple days here. Visibility, though, will be unlimited. Conditions-wise, skies are staying clear throughout the day, so much improved from what we were seeing this morning with those uh, rainy conditions and patchy fog, no visibility issues and plenty of sunshine, but it will be quite a bit cooler and that trend continuing on until at least Thursday into Friday before temperatures start to get a little bit milder. And as always, you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.